breaking news today about a Harris fundraising email that raises the volume on a very small change that was made to a Kamala Harris website, signaling that the campaign might just be interested in saving democracy from the convicted felon, adjudicated rapist, and insurrectionist Donald Trump. It's almost one week after a shocking Trump victory, but facts keep stacking up that call the victory into question and make Donald Trump's track record of cheating the more distinct possibility. Facts like Tina Peters was sent to jail for breaching the software of Colorado voting machines and giving access to that data to other people. Facts like Trump's legal team was able to breach Georgia voting machines in 2021. Facts like voting data is showing a distinct correlation between the amount of undervotes Trump received in battleground states and his margin of victory in those states. Facts like Elon Musk's Starlink was used to transmit data from voting machines to tabulators. Facts like Elon Musk's Starlink satellites have now crashed down to Earth, almost like they contained evidence. And those are the more high-tech facts. How about simple little low-tech facts, like over 60 bomb scares were called into heavily Democratic precincts, but no bomb scares called into Republican precincts. And can we just dwell on that last one for a minute? The FBI knows, as fact, that those bomb scares to heavily Democratic precincts originated in Russia. And instead of complaining about election interference, Democrats at the top, like Merrick Garland and Joe Biden, are sitting around saying, those dirty, rotten scoundrels. Trump was screaming about election interference because of Saturday Night Live, threatening to pull the licenses of the broadcast networks and priming up to use the government as a retribution machine. And Democrats are frozen in place on acting on these things because they don't want to appear like Donald Trump. Okay, so first of all, you're never in a million years going to look like demented Donnie, who sees and lies about conspiracy theories anytime there's a microphone near him. And if there is one lesson you should have learned over the last nine years, it's this. As soon as Republicans see that there is a legitimate course of action for Democrats to take, they start screaming bloody murder and accuse you of the very thing you are refraining from doing. Like, oh, I don't know, weaponizing the Justice Department? They accused Biden and Merrick Garland of doing just that. With our own two eyes, we saw Trump lead an insurrection. He should have been arrested on January 21st, but Merrick Garland wanted to protect the integrity of the Justice Department. So this is how you protect integrity? By allowing people to break the law and get away with it? You allowed the threat of Republican protests to prevent you from upholding the law. The lesson we learned here is to stop cowering in fear over Republican accusations. They're going to accuse you anyway. Democrats are out here begging for people to do something about election integrity, because we need more than just a recount. We need a forensic analysis of voting machines, but no one is doing anything about it. Mm, Until now. Muller, she wrote, just tweeted that the Harris Victory Fund just sent out this email. $250. That is the donation we are asking you to make to the Harris Fight Fund program today. $250, because there are U.S. Senate and House races that are either too close to call or within the margin of recounts or certain legal challenges. $250, because we have to do what we can to win those critical races and defend the outcome of the ones we have won in court. $250, because it will all add up fast when you and others like you are united in making sure every vote is counted and every voter's voice is heard. And this email follows up on a small change that the Harris Victory Fund made to its website last week. Again, Muller, she wrote, retweeted this headline, 
Harris Fundraising Fine Print Signals Recount Effort. The Harris Victory Fund, a joint fundraising committee that allows contributions to her campaign, the Democratic National Committee, and to state Democratic committees, quietly updated the information on its donations page on Wednesday morning. The donation page now says that a portion of money donated to the fund will be allocated to Harris for President's Recount account, signaling that Kamala Harris's team is gearing up to watch the count of votes in contested states closely. This is a razor-thin race. We need your help to make sure every vote is counted, it says. The Harris campaign didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. And then Mueller, she wrote's comment, is this. As I've been saying, I trust the Harris campaign and their lawyers. Mueller, she wrote, has a point. The person who was just cheated out of the presidency is a former prosecutor. She's not about to put up with criminal behavior. And as a prosecutor, she knows it's best to keep your cards close to your chest and not signal to the opposition what you're doing. Now, that doesn't mean we need to stay silent. It means just the opposite. We need to be creating the pressure that justifies this kind of investigation. We need to be hounding secretaries of states to do investigations. We need to be yelling at Merrick Garland to do his job and protect democracy. Because I'll tell you something, if Trump does follow through on his election promises, and let's face it, he won't because he never does, but if Trump did throw Merrick Garland in jail, I'm not so sure you'd see me outraged. Because as I have said, the facts add up quite simply. Tina Peters gained access to voting software. That access was easily shared with Elon Musk. Elon Musk is in contact with Russia. Russia knows a thing or two about hacking. And an Elon Musk data network was used to transmit voting data. That's just too many facts for Democrats to stay quiet and say, see, here's how the good guys act when they lose. I imagine that's not how Kamala Harris wants to go out. And if that's the case, she needs us to not only spread the facts, but shout like hell for an investigation. I'm Anthony Vincent Gallo for Occupied Democrats.